Good morning everybody. It is Monday the 4th of December. Day floor of Vlogmas. As you can see, oops, just not something over. I am in the office, which is also a spare bedroom. Um, today, because I am setting up my label printer, which is just here, it's a tiny little thing. Um, it's just a basic one, it's not got any whistles and bells like Bluetooth, but it'll do me. I can plug it into my laptop and down a print and labels. I do have labels, they're just in a box on the bed. It's 500. I have one item going out that requires one of these labels, so it's the first time I'm actually going to use it, so I'm glad it's only one. Slowly I'm going to be moving all my stuff over to pretty much free shipping. Um, if it's £10 or under, it'll, there'll be no offers. Um, and then if it's like over £10, like if it's £15, yes, I'll put an offer on it, but I won't take under a tenner for it, so it's as simple as that. I just simply because it's not going to be worth it. But the idea is to try and shift more of the old stock as well and get uh, some new stuff in. So the plan for today is I have five going out today, one that I need a label for, four will go via the post office. So I have to sort those out. I have to fill in my forms for the dentist because I am going to have my crown started tomorrow. After that, I then have to also pick up two more tickets for Jennifer's Christmas concert. I also have to make two stops for the post because the, the stuff with the label is going via every, which goes via a different drop-off point than the post office. And I have to go to the post office. I also um, need to, like I said, pick up tickets for the concert, if they've got any for the day I want. But I will also be going to my mum's to photograph. The stock I got free from Jane's uh, baby bank, uh, she was closing one of her warehouses because she's given up the lease on it because it's leaking. Um, she's got a small shopping risk, it was the big risker. They also, it was so hard to find that she didn't get enough people through, which is a shame because she is doing such a good job. But she has got a shop on High Street now, which is great. She's got another warehouse somewhere else, which is brilliant. And she's got several other shops as well. So she was just giving away everything that she could get rid of. She got so much stock. So I went down and I got a load of free clothes. Not much, maybe about eight or nine items, maybe more. I'm not sure. And then, of course, I went to Newport on uh, Friday for my COVID jab, which I've now recovered from, apart from my arm hurts a little bit, but not much. And bought 16 items in scope to resell. And I'm going to pop one of them on Vinted, even though you're not supposed to. But I'm going to try. I might do, if I can be bothered. Um, so I've got a lot going on today, so I'm going to crack on. I'm just setting up my laptop. I'm going to check the time of my, my dentist appointment tomorrow because I can't remember it. And I'll, I'll see what's going on. I'll see you up the shed in a bit because I'm going to go and pull those orders in a minute. Get them done ready because I want to see if I can get this label printer working before I go to my mum's. But as you can hear from the sound on the ceiling, it is raining. I'm getting a bit of condensation in here as well. I need to get some tiles on the roof. Um, I'm in the shed just because there's just no space. Um, it's a right tip. If I get one dry day this week, I'm in here because I have got to sort it out. It always gets a bit like this in the winter um, because Jennifer's Christmas presents, apart from her main one, is are at the back and I can't get to them. That's clever, isn't it? So, as you can see, there's two items there, one in the bag there. That's the one that needs to bobble in. There's one, and there's th actually three in there. I saw this Nightwish t shirt from the Once tool, and then a shirt, lipsy dress. That's just something from Lidl. That's a Tesco top that needs debobbling, so I'm going to go and debobble that before I put it in its envelope, although it will get its envelope ready. I'm knackered. Oh, see, all these I can bundle and sell. So I just need to do it, it's just getting around to it. Um, so yeah, there's some stuff I need. I think I'll bring up a big black sack on the first dry day I get, and God knows when that'll be now. And I'll literally haul bits out. This is supposed to be for me to put orders in as I pull them if I can. That's supposed to be storage for various bits and pieces, which it is. Lots of just junk mobile phones, I'll probably bundle them up together and put them on auction. But I'm going to crack on getting these lot listed, uh, dry, oh god I can't, ready to post, put them in here and then I'm going to take it all up to the house and carry on up there because it's cold and it's raining and I'm getting wet. Back 
from the shed. One of the items had a small hole in it, so I've notified them and done a refund. It was only a sale for five quid, uh, including the shipping. I'm, so I'm really not bothered about that. Uh, so I've just refunded them and cancelled it. It happens from time to time. I, I, it was my own fault. I was debubbling it. I thought I'd wipe the table clean. There was something on the table. It went over it and it put a hole in it. It's just one of those things. Luckily, it wasn't anything special. It was just a cheap one. I am now setting up the label printer, as you can see. You have labels and it's set up and I'm going to see if I can purchase the label and print it out. Let's see. I have printed my first label. It took me a while to sort it out because I flipping, flipping put the labels in the wrong way around. So of course they're not going to print if they're upside down. To be fair, I thought they were the right way. They are now in the right, whoops, in the right way and it's working and I'm happy. So that was actually a lot cheaper. It came up as £2.21, which I'm really surprised at. So it went as a shoebox and I put the weight in. The weight was under a kilogram and that's what it's come up as. So we will have to see. Um, <laughs> all I can do is go with what they tell me. I'm, you know, I'm not an expert. So I am very happy that that has worked. Um, I'm now going to actually try and get some listings done. Right, I'm at mum and dad's now, finally. I, got, I just remembered I've got to take my dad down to the garage as well to sort out the car that he's... Oh, don't even go there. I can't be doing with any of this anymore. Um, so, and I've got to go to Tesco. It's like, how have I ever had time to have a job? I don't know, because my days are so full. And I know I only work part-time. It's no wonder I never got any eBay done. But I was very excited to do my label. So I'm here. I've got three bags of stock. Two that were bought with 16 items in it from Scope and a load of items that I got for free. So very happy with that because a freebie is a profit regardless isn't it let's be honest. So I've got Mabel, I've got Maisie, I've got Hangers, I still haven't got a Mac but I will work on that. Once I hit profit, which I think I will this month, you've got to remember, our tax year runs in the UK, tax year runs from April the 6th to April the 5th. So it runs for one year from April the 6th. I had not done any eBay properly from April to August. When I lost my job, I started doing it properly. We're in December. This month I will go into profit for the year. I mean, profit for last month. This month I should be in profit for the year, which is amazing. Now, it's not going to be enough profit to put, pay tax on. Um, so basically, in the UK, um, you pay tax, I think it's after you've earned something like £12,500. And on top of that, you can have an income of £1,000 from other sources that is tax-free. So, for instance, selling your own items or reselling like I do when I was not earning that much. As soon as you hit the 12,500 limit plus the 1,000, then you have to pay it. It's a really weird thing that you can sell up to a thousand pounds or earn it, you know, uh, I don't get it, but there you go. But that's the way it is. So this year, I've got to do last year's tax return. It'll take me two minutes because they'll say, did you earn over a thousand pounds profit last year? And I will go, no, that'll be it. And then next April, hopefully, I'll get to say yes, but we'll wait and see. Um, I might have a job by then, so if I do, I'll have to go into tax as well. I do want to keep doing the eBay if I can. That's why I want to get as many listings ready to go and drafted and just put five live every day. I, tomorrow is supposed to be nice. I've seen that it's supposed to be nice tomorrow. <laughs> So I'm fingers crossed it'll be dry and I can go outside and I can empty the shed. Well, not empty the shed, but pull all the loose stuff out, tidy it up, get the stuff out that I need to check, check it. If it's dry, I can sit outside and check stuff. And by this, I mean just check the train set stuff's there, check the game stuff's there, and then I can take them in, get them photographs, put them back and get them drafted. I can sort out my boxes and get rid of some because some of them I'm not going to use, although I might use them as something else. But let's get started on this, otherwise I'm never going to get anything done and I won't have anything to list tomorrow. So I photographed 18 items, I think I've got about 9 left to do, uh, which is brilliant. So I'm going to call it a day now, I'm hungry, my lunch will be ready soon and I've got tons to do this afternoon. There's two items in here that need, well one definitely needs washing, no two definitely need washing. Um, 
and I'm going to have fun with that because I haven't got a tumble dryer at the moment but that's fine, I'll put them through and hang them on a radiator um, but I can still get them listed and drafted and then if they're really bad I'll take them out later, it's not a problem and I'm just going to go and have some lunch now then I'm going to go to Tesco, I've got to take Dad down to sort his car out drop him back and then it'll be time for me to go to uh, get the postage dropped off tickets for the show and pick up Jennifer from school busy day, I said it would be home now, all missions accomplished for me Favourite chef? Yeah, prawn cocktail, Jen. We know. And is. my favourite bit is these orange bits. That's because they're really prawn cocktail-y. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So we're home now. It's actually hammering down outside. It was. I was soaking. So I'm glad to be home and in warm. I'm shattered. Post is done. Got to Tesco's. Went in the charity shop. Don't mention that. Took Dad up the road as I had to. Photographed not everything, but most things. Happy with that. Stuff to do tomorrow. And then we're watching the Star Beast episode of Doctor Who again. And then I'm sure we'll be watching The Wild Blue Yonder again, which was really creepy, but I loved it because it has um, nods back to old Who in its creepiness. That's what it used to be like. This is the sort of episode that will get you hiding behind the sofa. As you did back in the day. And I love it. And Jen loves it, don't you? Love Doctor Who. <laughs> She's a right proper Hoovian, you are. And um, what was the name of that, that, that naughty thing? What naughty With thing? With sharp teeth. Oh, Beep the Meep. Oh yeah, Beep the Meep. Mm, he pretended he was good. It but was, yeah. yeah. They're not. I'm sure you've seen it, but and, we and, love and Doctor Who. And it's aliens and there's big robots. I think they, they do know what Doctor Who is. Yeah, you know? but... I'm sure they do. <laughs> but Alex doesn't know it. <gasps> Does she not watch Doctor Who? Does her daddy not let her? Oh. Oh, she's missing out big time. Never mind, let's watch it, eh? Okay, everybody, that's the end of the day. Jennifer's asleep in bed. I'm absolutely shattered. I had a busy day today. I'm hoping tomorrow would be nice so I can clear the shed. I'm not clearing it, but tidy it up a bit. Make it look a little bit better. I did buy a few. Well, I bought five books in the charity shops. So I spent £1.25. It's not a lot. So yeah, I'm uh, gonna crack off to sleep and I'll uh, see you tomorrow when we'll do it all again.